just taking off from Ian. Hopefully we can get somewhere today. It'll be the first XC flight on the Zero Light, if we do. So just a cloud base. We've got a lorry here. Just need to try and uh, catch up. I think he's signalling for us to move. It's about 10.35 in the morning. Laurie and I have both left Eam and are on our way to Stanage. You can see there's nice cloud streaks forming already, but it is still early in the day and it's the first XC day of the season. We decided to leave early because the conditions looked like they were going to work and I didn't have all day to fly. As we arrived at Stanage, I decided to pimp from Lorry to my demise and I... there doesn't seem to be any climbs around at the moment and we're both searching but I'm getting quite low towards survival mode so I head back towards the rock face and stay here until I uh, can find a climb. As you can see from takeoff, I managed to find a climb fairly quickly and catch up with Laurie and then we made our way towards Stanage. Unfortunately, I did get stuck there as you saw in the last clip and then you're joining me around 40 minutes later as I'm starting to get the first climb out of there. One of the drawbacks we're leaving so early is that there had been lots of rain the day before so it was quite slow starting unless you were high. But either way, Andy Butler has managed to make it from him to Stanage and he's the other paraglider you can see as we're slowly climbing out. There's quite a lot of drift in these climbs so the wind's quite strong. And I'm flying over Redmire's dams now and heading towards Sheffield. Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday ground there, unfortunately. <laughs> Recapping here, this was the first climb I got out of Stanage. It's drifting back quite a lot over Redmires and then drifting back towards Sheffield. Ahead of me I can see Laurie on form, so I'm hoping that I can catch him and we can rejoin and fly together. Unfortunately the flight with Laurie was not meant to be, we never did reconnect and somewhere around here I overflew him as he'd been sick out of the side of his harness and decided to land. But he did fall lucky, he found a good Samaritan that drove him from where he landed all the way back to his car at Eam. I'm now flying ahead towards a quarry which I'm hoping is going to be a release and trigger point for the next thermal that's going to get me up to cloud base to allow me to continue on. Now made it to Cudworth 
and it's around 12.15 so apart from getting stuck on Stanage my average speed is quite good. I've noticed around here that the airspace is quite busy. I've seen a search and rescue helicopter flying below me and two planes flying in tandem came past and both gave me a nod from their wings and said they'd seen me. I now had a decision to make. I couldn't fly all day and I could see a train station below. So do I continue flying this nice cloud street that you can see ahead or do I go and land and make sure I'm home in time? Well, you can see what I opted for.